Hello Minecraft fans and fellow Christians. Sorry I haven't been uploading lately. I've been busy with other things. But on the bright side, I've actually got a headset that will improve the quality a bit better. Now, on to the showcase. World Edit will actually help those that like to build in creative mode. You'll have to remember a number of commands and use this wooden axe. Now, you have to use a wooden axe to tell Minecraft what area you're actually working with. These are the coordinates and this, well, I'm sorry, these are the coordinates of the well blocks that you chose to be positions. This is the volume of the area that you selected. But since it's just these five blocks, it isn't that big. However, that can easily grow. Now, the first command I'm going to tell you about is called faces. And for every world edit command, you have to use two slashes. It distinguishes the commands from the rest of the normal Minecraft commands or any other commands added by mods. However, you'd have to know the actual name of a given block in order to, well, uh, tell it what to do. You need to look in this screen over to the far right, the last two lines. That's one name of, well, stone bricks that Minecraft knows. If you search Minecraft ID list, you'll get this at the very top. Now, what you have to do is simply type in the block in question. And voila, you'll get the normal name as well as the one that you would otherwise see in the F3 screen and the numerical number that would correspond to it. Now me, I prefer to use this and get the numbers that would matter. Now back to here. Now let's see what happens when I do this. Yeah, it looks pretty solid, doesn't it? It's hollow. And that's all it does. It just simply changes the outside faces of a given block. It treats the whole area just like a solid block. Now, let's say that you made some kind of edit mistake and you want to undo what you did. That's easy. However, let's say you did too many undos. Okay, that works too. Now, let's say that you actually want to fill in the whole area with stone bricks or something else like that. You would actually need to use a replace command. Now, here I'm going to show you what doesn't happen with this command. You see, if you want to fill in a given area with space... Well, that's just otherwise air, you have to tell it to do so by simply adding in a zero here. That corresponds to thin air. Okay, that does it. Now, if you have the ID of some other block, you can replace that block, oh, sorry, that block with something else. Now let's say that you actually want to copy something like say this over to some other spot. I know it seems rather simple but things can get rather complicated based on the builds. I actually had to copy over the original dungeon for um, 
where it was in the Minecraft my dun well, dungeons original dimension and put it over in an a nilf world or someplace like that and change it up to make it look all like you seen here and believe me it was long and complicated now let's say that you actually want to do like I did and copy what I did in f another world let's just go with world A to over world B okay you do like I did with copy and you have to remember the position that you're at if you don't you have to use undo a good deal a number of times You're telling it to create a schematic and save it to the name block. Okay. Now let's imagine that I went over to some world that tiled B. And I decide to load this. Oops. Okay. Voila, you got a big block. Now, that could, could have been a mini version of this, but I wouldn't want to put that much work into something. Now, let's say that you have something a little more complicated. Let's say that you made some mistake and you want certain stairs to be certain ways or certain slabs to be up the upper half instead of the lower half. Oops. Now what I'm doing here is actually telling it, hey, change all the stairs that are facing this direction to be this direction. Now see how it changed only one to be the same direction as this one? You can actually do that or you can change it to be another kind of stair like say quartz or something like that. And you can just simply... Oh dear. Oh well. Okay, to continue my example. Now, I've had to do similar in other builds that I wanted to just simply change it from one fan ugly block to something else. Now, for modded blocks, I'm sorry that the Minecraft ID list that you showed you before won't exactly help. You'd have to use the F3 screen in order to actually get that and believe me it can be a little time consuming but not as time consuming as manually having to redo every single block yourself and one and final note you can actually crash your world once or twice if you try and edit too big of an area Let's say 64,000. Okay. Let's imagine that I tried to edit a big block of stone bricks that size. That could introduce a good deal of lag if it didn't crash my world. Now, I've got a pretty powerful computer right now, so that may not actually crash it. But I would suggest that you experiment with lower amounts until you figure out hey that it works just fine but if it doesn't work eh, sorry but other than that thank you for watching y'all I hope this was very helpful